today what we're gonna do is shop my art cart all right so we are picking up in my bedroom and I want to find something that I haven't used in a while. Not acrylic. The top is mostly watercolors. I've been using these. Markers and more watercolors, some charcoal, compressed charcoal. I don't think I've used this. It's gonna be an option. So there's some compressed charcoal. I have an eraser at the desk, so if I do decide to go with that, it won't be so bad. And put it down. Hmm. Some colored pencils. Nothing really too interesting. Yeah, there are some pens. Oh, and some charcoal pencils. Oh, and a white. Hmm. Do I have a white charcoal stick? I thought I did. But I do have a white charcoal pencil. Maybe I'll just use these. These are probably varying degrees of hardness. And hmm. It doesn't say, does it? I don't think it does, but I'll take all of those. I guess I might as well take this as well. I don't have a charcoal stick, that's interesting. I mean a white charcoal stick, that's interesting. So, I guess charcoal it is. What? Maybe this is a 5.9B? I don't know. Never heard of 59B. This is a 4B. This is definitely harder than 59B. I wonder if that's like a 9B? I don't think so. I'm trying to put them in order. This one here. This is organic black. This is the softest OB. And then HB. Charcoal. Huh. 4B definitely seems like it was the hardest, which is pretty weird. 4B soft. Blend out a little bit, okay. Guess we'll start with 4B and I'm gonna sharpen it. Let's just see how that goes. Yep, as I thought, good for covering large surfaces. Let's see how all of these blend out. Blend. That's good. I need to be 
careful and make sure that I put down the layers. Well, I guess I will do sketch and come back to you. Hey guys, it's voiceover Misha. Um, I decided to switch over to the voiceover, even though I wasn't enjoying talking to you guys because my background got loud. So, this is what we're doing. Now, first things first, let's talk about these charcoal pencils. I apparently have no sense, and so I'm sitting there talking about 3B and 5B and 59B, and there was no damn 59B, because obviously 59B would just be dust. And so the, 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 hard, the yeah, hardness of those pencils were actually B, HB, Organic Black, and 3B. And then there is the 4B, which is the orange one, and then, you know, the white. I don't know where I came, well, I know where I came from with the 59B. I don't know why they have the the rhetoric on that, that the, what's the word I'm looking for? The rhetoric on the actual pencils is, is just so confusing. And I don't have the containers anymore because obviously I took them out of that years ago. Probably had these, no, decade, no. Yeah, maybe a decade because I haven't been into pencil in years. But so as you can see, I decided to do this on gray paper, the gray paper that I think I've had at least six, seven years. And there's one other drawing in there and it's very small. I'm not really into this sketchbook because it's just really, it's big for me. I don't remember what size it is, maybe like a 12 by 12. I'm not into square paper. But I also just don't really like huge sketchbooks. I'm very, as you can see, I'm very picky. I like me a 9 by 12. I think that that's the optimal size. I'm like, I don't like my 6 by 9. Well, I mean, I like my sketchbook, but I'm not in love with the size of the 6 by 9. I don't like the 12 by 12. So, you know, always complaining, whatever. So using gray paper, and so I used the white. Sorry about my desk looking or being messy. It don't look messy because it is messy. Now, at one point, I'm going to mess up. Well, I already messed up and made the mistake. Comment down below if you can guess what it is. But, you know, it'll become kind of glaring later on in the video, and I'm just going to be doing and redoing the same thing over and over and over and over again in an attempt to fix it. But it, weirdly, it doesn't look as bad on camera. Well, no, it looks bad. It looks bad to me. Like when I took the picture, it was really distorted. And I guess that's because like a stationary camera kind of shows more of the flaws. But I definitely do see what I was seeing on camera. Um, so I'm actually, another thing, I didn't use the General's stick, the General's graphite stick or charcoal sticks. Even though I did want to, I didn't really have that big of an area to cover. I figured it would be best for covering large surfaces um, just because, you know, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of charcoal. And so I think I'll probably use that, use that for the first time in the future I do have a video coming up uh, probably in a couple of weeks where I think that that would be beneficial, as well as some of the other charcoal that I have. I have like vine and willow charcoal, which I, I only ever actually used those sorts of charcoal back when I was at Cooper Union. I didn't go there for school. I did their summer outreach program when I was in high school, and that's when I started. That's when I used to find and willow charcoal. So. I bought some and just never used it. And you might have seen that on my art cart earlier. That's where that's from. Useless. Well, not useless. I'm useless. Not the charcoal. But so, you know, they're sitting there. One thing I want to say about all these charcoals on this paper, I don't know whose fault it is. I do. It's the charcoal's fault. It does not blend easily. You can see here, like... I blended it out with the tissue, and I was also using um, 
what is it called? I was using the Q-tip intermittently, and the blending is just, it's not smooth like my Jackie Ina piece, which is what I wanted. But I guess, like, this paper has less of a tooth, actually, than my sketchbook, so it is the charcoal. I wasn't happy with that. I don't mind it too much because looking at it in the camera view and even like looking at the paper now, <laughs> looking at the paper now, like you can't really see how unblended it is, but it is, it's rough. Also, can you see what the problem is? The, the height of the eyes. They, I don't know. I do know. I was going to say, I don't know what my problem is with that, but think I need to start warming up when I sketch. The eyes are just, they're so, it's like where, what, where the one that is our left starts, like the top of it is the bottom of the one that's our right. And I was just like, you can see me actually erasing that eye so that I can try to fix it. And it turns into a, a mess sort of because I, I just had to, I really just had to sit there and tinker with it and try to fix it as much as I could. So obviously I was not about to sit here and redo the exact same piece and I wasn't about to fix the hairline and, you know, the move, the ears need to be moved up, obviously, but I, I, it was bothering me so much that I stopped the second drawing I was doing so that I could go over there and try to fix that. I think it's a little better at this point, but it's still not great. I I don't know. Pay more attention than me when you're doing your drawing. And actually, the second drawing is not as glaring, but that eye, the right eye, is also a little high on that one, too. And I knew that this was a problem for me, like, because I don't, one, I don't warm up, and two, I always forget to, like, measure where the eyes are but I should do it. So I'm, I'm going to try to commit to doing that in the future because I really am not happy with the way that that looks. I think that the eyes being so like glaringly different makes her look crazy. And then it made the side of her face, like you can't see it because it's covered with my phone, but the size of her face or the side of her face, the left side, I had to change the shape of that multiple times using the gray and then also the white and it just became such a mess like more work than it was worth if I had just warmed up and made sure that I was paying attention in the first place then obviously we wouldn't be in that situation and now I have a sketch or two sketches that I am semi happy with but not really and I think that especially the one on the left I would have been a lot happier with had I just spent the extra time making sure that the eyes were aligned because I think it's pretty and I do love the way that I did the highlights. I, f I feel that way about both of them, but I'm just, it, it was irritating to see that. Additionally, going back to what I was saying about the fact that they don't blend well, I noticed that like when I was taking the pictures for the thumbnails, you could still see all the the texture of the paper and there's not a lot of texture to this paper and I think that's what really kind of irritated me like on this camera it looked fine but I'm not sure how to take pictures with this camera and so I just kind of have I don't know I'm just disappointed off camera I actually did do a little bit of tinkering to the top right picture but you know nothing that's really all that noticeable so you know, I left it, like, I, I left this clip in, and I'm just kind of finishing up the hair. I didn't, at this point, I was just kind of so disappointed with the stupid mistakes that I had made that I didn't really pay as much attention to the hair, which is, it's funny, it's like, you know, I made things worse for my, I made things worse in my piece because I didn't, want to make things worse I guess it's dumb I should have I should really it's like if I did something wrong before maybe I should try doing doing it right in the future and instead what I did was just got so down on myself that I continued to do wrong I was just so disappointed 
but so yeah, this is pretty much the end of the piece. Um, in a few seconds here, you'll be able to see those two pieces together and my desk not looking a total mess. Um, but I want to thank you guys for watching my silly little video. And thanks for watching me shop my stash. Have a great day.